It's Wednesday. We made it to the middle of the week. Oh, we got a lot going yeah. on, yes. Yes, of course we got a lot going on. But first, Kristen has five of your top news headlines. Thanks, guys. All right, getting straight into the top five news stories of the day. A tense 24 hours overseas and in Washington as the world reacted to the ISIS video reportedly showing militants burning their captive Jordanian pilot alive in a cage. Now, shortly after vowing retaliation, Jordan executed two Al Qaeda prisoners on death row, including the woman whose release ISIS had been demanding. Jordan's King Abdullah II was in Washington when the video was released, and both he and the president vowed to continue the fight against ISIS militants. The murder of the 26-year-old pilot appears to be a message to Jordan to stop participating in coalition airstrikes. All right, moving back home, tragic news out of New York. A Metro North commuter train plowed into an SUV on the tracks just north of New York City, killing at least seven people. Six of the people killed were passengers on the train, and the seventh is believed to have been the driver of the SUV. Officials say the gates at the Commerce Street crossing came down on the Jeep. Then the driver exited the car to inspect the back of it, drove forward, and that's when the collision happened. Now the crash is still under investigation. In other breaking news, a Trans-Asia plane crashed after clipping a bridge near Taipei in Taiwan. 58 people were on board and at least 12 fatalities have been reported by the Central News Agency. Rescue teams are alongside the turboprop plane, which had just taken off and was headed to the Kinmen Islands, trying to rescue passengers still trapped inside. More details to come as the rescue efforts continue. In other news, you might want to double check that bottle of St. John's wort you recently bought because the results of an investigation show that some of those so-called health supplements contain little to no beneficial ingredients. The investigation was commissioned by New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. He says his office has sent letters to four major chains, including GNC, Target, Walmart, and Walgreens, demanding that they stop selling mislabeled dietary supplements. Now, some of the stores listed have agreed to cooperate with the state's investigation. And last year, top five headlines. Sources say Bobby Christina, the daughter of the late icon Whitney Houston, has been moved to a new hospital. Now, the 21 year old has been fighting for her life since she was found over the weekend face down in a bathtub at her Georgia home. She was moved yesterday to Emory University Hospital in Atlanta and remains on a ventilator. Now, a statement from her father's lawyer says they are investigating the incident and continue to respect the family's wishes for privacy. TMZ actually uh, reported yesterday that they say drugs were involved. They say yeah. cops found it. It hasn't been confirmed. But either oh, way, man. my heart just breaks for for this tragedy her and her family Speaking are going for through. For her, her family, her grandmother, yes. who is scared that she may see another wit case of like what mm -hmm. happened to Whitney Houston again. It's just, yeah. that's tragic. It's so tragic. Yeah, Absolutely and reports tragic. are saying that Bobby Brown, her father, you know, can't even walk. He's just unconsolable. <laughs> oh.